the Dutch are invading all the conference I go, so of course this time I also will introduce you a Dutch entrepreneur. <laughs> so, and even more, they are invading uh, Twitter because uh, they have been twittering very, very actively, and that's why how we got to yeah, know here virtual at Twitter Twitter Lyft, contact. Uh, yeah. virtual Twitter contact and a Dutch contact again. So introduce yourself directly and tell me what's your business about. Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Lucien uh, Burum. I'm from uh, Amsterdam, Holland. Uh, I run together with my partner a uh, uh, internet startup. Uh, what we do is, uh, in short, recommendation technology. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically, we do uh, one thing is creating a sort of a recommendation network um, that consists of um, a widget. Mm -hmm. um, and with just a few lines of code, you uh, insert a widget in your blog and it starts making recommendation. Uh, in the back end or in the front end? Or no. uh, you, you can, for example, you put it in your WordPress uh, mm -hmm. plugins or you can just insert a line of code in your template mm -hmm. if you know how to do that, of course. Uh, we're trying to make that much more simpler uh, in the near future. Um, but what it does, it creates recommendations automatically just for your own website, but you can tell us which other blogs that you like, for example, and you start recommending them too on your pages, and they can recommend you as well, of course. So it's a bit Twitter-like as well, people following each other, blogs following each other. And the second thing we do, and that's yeah, a bigger issue and takes more time, is that we are trying to create a, a, a very new recommendation engine. Uh, the problem with recommendations is it's very difficult to do it very personal in, ver in real time on a very large scale mm -hmm. and as we are developing a big network uh, we need to have that large scale so we have some thoughts on a very very new way of uh, creating recommendations mm -hmm. and we're building that okay and uh, yeah first when I read about your business I thought it was uh, it sounded quite similar to Samantha but now yeah. as you explain it a little bit more I don't think it uh, that much anymore but how do you see that by yourself? yeah I, I can imagine that um, it's not the first time we hear it of course uh, there are even more uh, uh, companies that do something similar like it uh, but they're always focusing uh, on the content if there's a content match between articles they serve a recommendation to that article and we specifically look if people are interested in what they're reading so of course we check the content matches are these things like uh, is it a similar kind of article uh, but we then check if people are actually uh, reading both these articles in in the same kind of way okay. so uh, that would create uh, uh, a far better recommendation that, than content matches only okay. that's one thing and of course we have the network thing and they don't have that but on the other hand we don't provide other kinds of tools so we don't we don't get your um, uh, Flickr picture on a certain subject, we don't do that. We are focused. focused on yeah, the exactly. Okay, so uh, on your website is written down that you, through your recommendation system, also uh, help the bloggers to get a higher reach and all that. So, do yeah. you do you uh, or to grow their audience? Do you uh, already have experience with that? Uh, could you give some numbers or something, yeah. some experience? Well, we have some some very rudimentary uh, figures. Um, uh, we're testing with with uh, te some tens of blogs in in Holland and some outside Holland at the moment just moving uh, abroad um, what we see if, if people uh, are served the recommendations it's about um, a 15 percent one five that actually follow a recommendation that we thought it was quite high but we're mm -hmm. not expecting that um, so that, that's great we're not of course we don't know that uh, if it if this will uh, stay the same stay the same if the network grows uh, mm -hmm. very very large uh, but that's quite good that's better than any advertisement you can you can do and the the nice thing that we do we, we don't we not only serve you um, maybe new readers uh, of course the quality of the new readers uh, should be better because they're really interested in the subject um, what we also do is we're going to provide you with a dashboard uh, that will tell you, um, for example, you already know how many visitors you have, right? That's analytics. We don't do analytics. But what we can do is, is tell you, uh, okay, you write about these kind of subjects mm -hmm. and uh, people are actually reading these kind of subjects on you. And we can also tell you uh, what people are interested, uh, uh, also, uh, what they're also interested in and uh, where they read that kind of thing. And they, uh, so we're going to tell you about subjects that pe your people read, but you're not writing about the subjects on your own blog so maybe yeah. you should start writing about the subjects so and it's get sort of a research for a yeah it's like uh, yeah some some information tool just to make you uh, write uh, more stuff or mm -hmm. better stuff or provide you with certain angles how to approach a certain subject okay is it a service for free or yeah, that's all free 
So how, yeah, how are you going to make money? Yeah, it's always the big question. Um, maybe we we have we have some thought, different just thoughts. Just for fun it. at the moment. Yeah, just for fun. Yeah, no, no. Of course, uh, we have investors, so we mm -hmm. have to look at the money, of course. Um, but um, we we want to uh, make it very simple in the beginning, so it will stay free for blocks forever. That's that's so quite that's quite basic. Um, what we are going to do is, of course, company will be interested in the data, but we're not want to provide them the data, of course, mm -hmm. because it's it's not owned by us. Uh, we think mm -hmm. it's from the blogs. But what we can do is provide the same kind of tool on corporate websites, for example, and um, give them some insights in what their viewers uh, uh, like, what kind of products they like and what products they don't like. And we could tell from the lessons we learn in the network what other things your customers are interested in. And for example, what they're in, in, uh, interested in today or this week or last month. So you can tune your uh, ad campaign. So we're not serving ads, but maybe we help you to serve better ads. Okay, okay that sounds really like added value. I think I will try it out uh, and have a look how it works. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and then I can tell you if it's really worth it. <laughs> okay, and thank you for providing that little insight and good luck with your yeah, business. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> thank you. Okay.